Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone to the latest iOS. So let's get started. You're going to see settings. So from your settings, you're going to see the second option where it says software update available. Now, let's say you guys don't see that. Just scroll down. You're going to see general. Under general, second option is going to say software update. From there, you're going to see this refreshing. If it does not come out, then just turn off and on automatic updates. That's going to refresh things and you should be okay or just restart your phone and you should be all right again. Now, obviously you can only do this if your iPhone is compatible with iOS 16. Regardless, this is a small update. It's not even a gig, although it's pretty close. But anyways, let's just tap on download and install. Once you do that, it's going to ask you for your passcode if you have one. Then it's always going to ask you this. You can go ahead, just choose yes or no. I'm going to use my data. Why not? If you don't have unlimited data, then just don't do that. <laughs> just go with your Wi-Fi. After the download is done, it's going to go ahead and install the update. Now, keep in mind that the downloading process really does depend on your Wi-Fi speed. But also, if you have an older iPhone, this will take a little bit longer as well. At this point in time, you could just leave your phone to be and you just come back whenever you see it restarting. But anyways, later on, we will see an Apple logo in loading bar. And then we're pretty much going to be done with the update. It's a really short update. It's really quick. And for those of you who have an iPad and wonder what's going on, well, the iPad update should be coming up this month, according to Apple. So we just have to wait for it. Please know to have your phone hooked up some electricity, even if it's 100%, I still recommend having it hooked up while you do any update, just in case. Especially with older phones, your battery is not the best anymore. So just have it charging while you do any updates. Make sure to do a backup if you want to. It's a really small update, so I don't really stress too much about doing a backup, but it's good to have a backup just in case. You can use iCloud. You have five gigs there for free. If uh, you don't want to pay or anything like that, then just hook it up to your computer and make your backup there in your computer. You can use iTunes on PC and Finder on Mac. As well as if you find yourself having any problems with the update, maybe it's just not popping up, you could use your computer in order to update it. And again, for PC, that's using iTunes. And for Mac, you can use Finder to update your phone. All right, so finally, when you download it, you're going to see this, Install Now. You can just tap on Install Now. It's going to verify the update. Again, it's going to restart Apple logo, loading bar, and then we're just about to be done. All right, so as mentioned, you would see an Apple logo in a loading bar just like so. You're going to see a first one, then it's going to restart again. You're going to see another one. This was going to be the last one. So this will be the last again. Apple logo in loading bar, and then we're going to be done with the update. So finally, as you're done with the update, you should see something like so. Just swipe up, putting a passcode if you have one, and then go into settings, general, software update, and make sure you're all good. So right now we are all up to date, and that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.